one of your hands. Move your eyes. Do something. The bliss is on.
let you go home. There's no end to God. It's hard for me to leave a prayer. I, listen, I don't want to have a legal worship service. I don't. But we couldn't let them go home without a little bit of the desert song. <laughs> this is our desert song. This is our favorite Israeli song. Okay? Now some of you need to be jumping a little more. Oh, oh the glory's on your face. Oh, the glory's on the face. Wait a minute, let her tell this vision. I had a vision while we were dancing and singing and worshiping for Israel. And when I picked up the flags, it's like I, I saw the army of Israel, the once clothed Ooh, in the Talith. <laughs> oh, and they took Israeli flags and hung it over the the ones in America that would battle for truth and righteousness. And the flag of Israel hung over the army in America. And then I saw the American flag of those who would receive the love of Israel. It was like they were clothing one another. And the strength of each nation was coming from the root. <laughs> yes. The very roots of our vision. Yes. Yes. But uh, as I danced around holding the flags up, waving the flags, I we've been in Israel, we've been up on Mount Hermon. And I just saw, I saw on every border, and we have prayed on every border. I just saw these two flags being lifted up and I saw it just driving back the darkness, Amen. driving back the darkness and just uh, <laughs> just expanding supernaturally the borders to the rightful borders of Israel. Amen. And yes, rightfully so, if you wanted any nation to hang your flag, it would be Israel. Because the blessing comes from Israel. Are you hearing me? It starts there, it's going to end there. So one day Richard played this music, and I thought, oh, this song is about Israel. And I call it the desert song. But Israel was a desert that became a fruitful land. All of her valleys brought forth 30, 60, and 100 fold. Right now, she takes care of almost 70% of the European nations from the fruits from her garden. So do a little dancing, okay? This song will really charge you.
I had a vision for you. The Lord is doing a precious work in you right now. It's a holy work. And I saw you like a vessel. You were crystal clear. But it was like, when, you know, every, I'm going to tell every woman in this room, buy you one vase that's different to put your flowers in. If you want to spend a little extra money, buy that vase that makes the flowers look good. Mm. And I saw you like a beautiful vase that the Lord is, you know, they they make that glass. I've been in Bethlehem where they handle it and make it. And it's beautiful work, very fragile. But God is going to come to you. Do you have children? Are they saved? I felt, I, I just saw that. It's like you feel a little empty because they're not saved inside. But God is going to cause them to honor you. Yep. He's working on you. He's always working. It's slow going, but there's a knowing in your heart that one day certain it's going to be right. Yeah. And that's what I saw. I saw the honor coming from you. Not only from your children, but from God. You keep the faith working. You keep praising God. Keep dancing. You've got a wonderful dance. Those movements really are the movements of God when we dance and we know we can't do it in ourselves. It's the Spirit has to do it. And it's our joy returning to God that He's up to something good and He's going to do something good. He's going to work some miracles in your life. But you're going to see it. It's like you are the base. And God is going to put the flowers. Oh, honey, you're going to smell the roses. You're going to see the jungles. You're going to see the Irish. You're going to see all these little plantings of the Lord in your home, in your life, in your family, because only God can do it. But you keep praising Him for it. The Lord told me one day, He said, never stop praying as long as there's life and never give up. Just keep praising the Lord. And one day you'll have tapestries hanging in your mansion in heaven of what your praise was doing at that time, at that moment. Do you understand? Keep praising Him. And, and he's sure I'm going to try to reward you. You're going to see it. I saw him putting beautiful slippers on your feet. I've never seen a color like this before. It looked like shoes that had been dipped in many colors. Many things that are going to happen through your dance. I'm just telling you. Let you express it. Let those rhythms come. If you do it in your house, in your bathroom, the Lord told a friend of mine, and she went to every nation in the world. He said, I want you to dance for every nation. Every nation. And she said, a lot of times she had to go on the airplane in the bathroom. Because she didn't do it at home. But she danced for every nation. And almost did 40 days of water for every nation she ever went to. To let the governments of God to come in. Do you fast for your children? Keep fasting. Say, Lord, this is the bread for my children. You're going to change them. You're going to work in their hearts. You're going to visit them. You're going to visit them. One Sunday morning, I'm going to tell you this, how real God is. My son was not serving God. I was up here, right up here at Glendale in Central. And I said these words to the Lord. I said, Lord, isn't there just a little opening in his heart? If he, if you open his, it open just a little where you can get in. I know if it does, you can get in. And Pastor Baby stood and prophesied that morning. There's a mother in here that you ask God, is his heart open just a little? He gave that word. And I said, that's what I just said to the Lord coming to church. Everything I said, he prophesied. So I knew the Lord had opened my heart, the heart of myself, the Lord understand. He did. He has. And that's all it takes is a crack. But they, we have to open our heart for the Lord. He's not going to make us do it. God won't make anybody do anything, but he'll make circumstances so you wish to right. do okay? But he's going to do it. He's going to fire them up. Oh, yes. He's going to put the markings of the image of Christ on them. And they're going to turn their face mm. toward Jesus. Oh, Thank you, Lord. But those shoes were such beautiful shoes, honey. They were like shoes that walked in fire. But you have on boots over there. Look, she's got on boots. Look at those shoes. But these have all these beautiful colors. Mm -hmm. Only the work on earth can do to 
share the many needs of God in your life, the many workings of God in your life, and sing to it, and get a little song, and a little river flow every day. And that river is going to be working with the roots and the ways of the Lord in things that you're praying about. It works that way, honey. There are patterns that God moves in. But it, it showed me that you had walked into the things of God that are precious. And you're the vessel he's going to cause to come forth with honor in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You're ever the same, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Lord. For your character that you're pouring out, sister. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the new work. For the eternal work, the holy work. In Jesus' name, we praise you, Lord. Oh, we praise you. Lord, let our hearts be in your hand. Let our seal be upon you. Let your hand of mercy hold us from the earthly into the heavenly. Keep us, Lord, as the apple of your eye. Keep us, Lord, in a great surprise. Keep us available unto you. Keep us visible in your sight. Show us always the right. What pleases you. God got the spirit in there. 
It's one thing to force your way, but it's another to, to carry it in. And we played, listen, those people rejoiced. They rejoiced. Yes. Because nobody was coming. And we asked him if we could play it. Michelle was all over that piano. Oh my. Let the sound of heaven come down. Amen. You're dismissed. <laughs>